these initial pictures were pictures I found, which I used in my paper, discussing uh, how you can set up your own access point. I go over some math as well as other concepts. Um, the later pictures you are seeing were taken by Cordell, the president of the Cache Valley Amateur Radio Club. I wrote my paper on how you can set up your own access point usable by a GSM-capable cell phone. My paper goes over many advantages of doing so, the main point being cost. At the current rate, my family will pay around $30,000 for five cell phones per 10 years. By setting up two antennas with a voice over IP backhaul, my family will pay somewhere between 1 and 5% of that. There are lots of perks to this. Unlimited texting and unlimited voice are inherent. I would need to set up some Go phones for, the, for use outside the range of these antennas, which would have a range of about 10 to 30 miles. It depends on the power used in transmission, the cell phone, as well as line of sight. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. What you just witnessed were some amateur radio club members setting up an antenna in the forest. They would shoot a tennis ball over some trees attached to some fishing line. They would use this to set up an antenna within the forest. The base transceiver station you see right now is in Star Valley. In my interview with Cordell, we discussed the project I had outlined in my paper. He said it was feasible. He didn't have any knowledge of the auctions with the Federal Communications Commission where I would need to bid on a frequency or two for the Cache Valley area. This will cost me around $500. Uh, he stated that the system I would set up would need to be full duplex, meaning I would need to transmit and receive data at the same time. He helped me gain a lot of insight into this project. The base transceiver station you are seeing now is at Mount Logan.